at another twist this morning in the controversy surrounding the Princess of Wales. Britain's data watchdog is looking into a report that staff at the hospital where Kate underwent abdominal surgery had attempted to access her private health records. The Daily Mayor is reporting at least one staff member from the London Clinic tried to snoop at Kate's notes during Kate's stay back in January. The princess was discharged after about two weeks. Kensington Palace has given little information about Kate's condition beyond saying that it was not cancer. The princess has been absent from the public eye since the surgery, fueling speculation and rumours about her condition. Of course, this means we need to call on Afia Hagen, CTV's royal commentator, to give us the latest. Afia, good morning to you. You and I have been saying since the start of this, it's amazing that there have been no leaks. Here we are, an investigation into a possible breach in Kate's medical records. What do you know? What's being reported? Absolutely. I think it was inevitable, actually, that this was going to happen. Now, we've just had a statement from the chief executive officer of the London Clinic, who is by the all appropriate steps will be taken when dealing with this alleged data breach involving the Prince of Princess of Wales and involving her medical notes about the treatment that she received at the clinic in January. So the statement reads, everyone at the London Clinic is acutely aware of our individual, professional, ethical and legal duties with regards to patient confidentiality. We take enormous pride in the outstanding care and discretion we aim to deliver for all of our patients that put their trust in us every day. We have systems in place to monitor management of patient information and in the case of any data breach, all appropriate investigatory, regulatory and disciplinary steps will be taken. And it signs off by saying there's no place at our hospital for those who intentionally breach the trust of any of our patients or colleagues. So if this happened, if someone has been trying to access the personal records of the Princess of Wales, this is an incredible breach of trust, an incredible breach of personal data. It's a very serious issue for this hospital to deal with, for this private hospital to deal with. And it shows that something has gone very, very wrong here. And it kind of harks back to when the Princess of Wales was in hospital when she was suffering from morning sickness. And actually you had a radio host call in to the clinic Mm -hmm. that she was staying at and tricked a nurse into giving out personal information about the Princess of Wales. She was then uh, the Duchess of Cambridge on air. And actually that led to that particular nurse taking her own life because of the pressures she felt under mistakenly uh, giving out that information. This is a different situation. This is someone deliberately perhaps for money, trying to breach the records of the Princess of Wales to reveal what was going on with her. Yeah, there's going to be a lot more to that investigation to learn. But Afia, I think it speaks to the fact that the public, really the global public, is still skeptical about why Kate was even in the hospital in the first place. Then this week there was that photo at the farm where she was with her husband, William, Is there belief that that photo is legit? Has that helped to quell any of the speculation about her whereabouts and well-being? You're absolutely right in saying that this is a global story and the interest is global. And yes, we did have that picture and the accompanying video taken by a passerby who was in the farm shop, uh, a fellow customer with the princess and prin- the prince and princess of Wales, excuse me, when they were shopping over the weekend. He took the video uh, and there was a still from it. So we had the situation where on Monday we had a newspaper report from the Sun newspaper saying, saying that Kate had been seen alive and well. There was no new picture. Then on Tuesday, they managed to obtain new picture and video of the Prince and Princess of Wales, supposedly at this farm shop, uh, buying things and walking out. Uh, And of course, there has been lots of speculation about that video. Is it real or is it not? Imagine we are in a time when, believe it or not, people are sitting down in newsrooms and analysing this video and looking at the metadata of when it was taken, but also using facial recognition technology and matching up videos of the Prince and Princess of Wales walking before 
Are they walking the same? Is their gait the same? Is her face even the same? And so news agencies have done that and have reported that it is 100% genuine and it is the Prince and Princess of Wales. Has that stopped the chatter online? Absolutely not, not in any way, shape or form. The speculation is still rife that it's not them in the video, that perhaps a body double has been used. And that just tells you where the zeitgeist is at the moment, that we are in a time where the trust has been so broken between what we're being told by the royal family uh, and what people are perceiving as true, that people just don't trust anything anymore. Yeah, I mean, people were analyzing it, and we've got the shot up now of the farm, and there was a wreath on a door, and people were saying this photo was from before Christmas, but nonetheless, I guess they've double-checked, and that wreath at the farm is still up. I got to ask you, lastly, Afia, do you think that the palace and the couple could put an end to all of this by just releasing a short video of Kate showing her speaking? Would that be the solve here? No, because like I say, we are too far gone with this. Mm. Lots of people, if they saw that video, would say, oh, she looks great. Thank goodness here she is talking to us. It's, it was taken today or yesterday, and isn't it wonderful to see her? And there will be a lot of people will say that that has been doctored, that is a body double, it's AI, it's a deep fake. We are in a situation where, because the rumours online have been swirling for so long, and because the trust has been broken between Kensington Palace and, in a sense, the British media and royal watchers and everybody in between, that there's a certain section of people who just will not believe anything that they are told anymore. Do you think all this could have been avoided? Yes, absolutely. With proper public relations and communications, with a proper team in place and a proper social media team in place who were not asleep at the wheel, this absolutely could have been avoided. I mean, putting out a photoshopped picture in the current climate where the rumours were already swirling was a huge mistake. Thinking that the great British public the British media, royal watchers, would be okay with an information vacuum from Kensington Palace. Again, was a huge mistake. There's a lack of crisis management here. There's a lack of everyday and image management here. You know, heads should roll for this, absolutely. Afia Hagen is CTV's royal commentator, joining us this morning from London. Afia, thanks so much, and no doubt we'll be talking again soon. Coming up.